Hello, I am Professor N. B. Hulle from G. H. Raisuni Institute of Engineering and Technology. In this video, we will see how to solve the problems whenever some leakage factor and similar parameters are given. Now here, I will read the problem carefully and we will sort out the given data. In case of the magnetic circuit, most important thing is the starting of the given data in the proper dimensions. Means we have to use the proper units. That is important. Now here, in this case, a cast steel ring has a circular cross section of 2.2 centimeters. Means here, in this case, the cross sectional area is given. Uh, sorry, diameter of the area is given. Circular cross section 2.2 centimeter in diameter. Means diameter for the calculation of the cross section area is given which is 2.2 centimeters this is 2.2 centimeters means it is 10 raised to the power of minus 2 meters these are the given dimensions the mean circumference of the ring is 100 centimeters means here mean circumference of the ring is given i mean here length of the uh, that magnetic path is given which is i will call it as li that is length of the iron path or steel path here in this particular case here, the length of the iron path or steel path in this particular case is it is given as 100 centimeters. That is 100 into 10 raised to the power of minus 2 meters. Means here, this is the value. The ring is uniformly wound with uh, 800 turns. Means number of turns are given, which are given as it is 800, which is given as it is 800 turns. Then calculate the current required to produce. Means we are interested to calculate the current in this particular ring. And uh, uh, here, uh, required to produce the flux of, means phi is also given, which is phi here in this case is 0 0.26. This is 0 0.26 milliweber. Milli means 10 raised to the power of minus 3 webers is the given value in the air gap. The length of the air gap is also given here. The length of the air gap, which is given as, a, which is 2 millimeter, that is 2 into 10 raised to the power of minus 3 meters is the length of the air gap. And here the leakage factor that is lambda is given and which is given as it is 1.2 is the lambda. Assume the relative permeability of the steel as means relative permeability of the steel is given that is mu r is given. And here this value of the mu r is given as it is 1000. The value of the mu r is given as 1000. Now here if we are able to sort out the data in the proper dimensions then here most of the things will become simple as far as these calculations are concerned. Now here in this particular case we have calculated the given data. Now I will try to draw the figure as we are able to have an idea how will be the circuit is going to behave. Means here in this case what is the given thing? The length of the air gap is given. I will start from the air gap. Means here uh, this is the air gap and the length of the air gap is given. It is given as it is 2 millimeters. Now here length of the air gap is 2 millimeters that is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. This here this length is given as 2 millimeters. Now here uh, the ring is something like this. I will draw the ring here. Ring will be something like this. Now here in this case, uh, other different things are also given. This is the iron ring and it is wounded with some turns. Some number of turns are there and in this particular case, the number of turns are given as it is 800. This here, 800 number of turns are there and here we are interested, here MMF will be applied. In that case, we are interested to calculate this current I in the circuit. What is the other given thing here? The diameter of uh, uh, the 2.2 uh, centimeters is given. That is cross section area diameter. Means this diameter. Here will be the cross section area. Something like this. The cross section area will be this one. And here the diameter of this cross section area is given. And which is given as it is. And this is 2.2 centimeters. At the same time they are given the mean length of the uh, uh, mean circumference of the ring is 100 centimeters. Means here, this is mean circumference is given. This is 100 centimeters. Means here it is 100 centimeters. This is 100 centimeters. This path is given. 
this is given as it is 100 centimeters now here in this case we know these things from these things we are uh, we, we will plan to calculate how to calculate the value of the current i in this particular case now here what are the general formulas we will need i will write the formula somewhere here now here we are interested to calculate the value of the current i means uh, we have to use the formula of the mmf because mmf is equal to n into i for the mmf we have the two formulas i will write the both here one formula for the mmf is it is n into i where n is the number of turns and i is the current number of turns are already given which is given as it is 800 turns means by knowing its current i uh, sorry by a, knowing its mmf we can calculate this value of i before that to calculate i we have to calculate the mmf for the calculation of mmf we use, use another formula which is mmf is equal to that is uh, another formula for the mmf is nothing but it is phi into s where phi is a flux in weber and s is the reluctance of the magnetic path which is ampere turns per weber now here from this case the flux is given but here in this case the lambda is given and we have the two fluxes here that is one is the flux in the air gap which is known as a useful flux and flux in other part of the this magnetic circuit is nothing but the total flux that is phi t is from the lambda we have to do that calculation i will do that first now here this lambda is given as it is 1.2 means this 1.2 sorry this lambda is equal to 1.2 and this is very same as that is phi t divided by phi u where phi t is the total flux phi u is given means we are interested in the total flux this phi u is given as a flux in the air gap is given this is i will call it as phi u which is given as 0.26 is this is 0.26 <coughs> into 10 raised power of minus 3 <coughs> This is phi t. Means from this case we are able to calculate its total flux phi t. Means whenever we will calculate uh, uh, the MMF related to this magnetic circuit, we will use the phi t. And whenever we will do the calculation for the air gap in that particular case, the flux we will take it as phi u. Now here, if we are doing this calculation, the phi phi two is found to be it is 312. If I am substituting this value, that is phi t is equal to this is 1.2 into it is 0.26 into 10 to the power of it is minus 3. If I am doing this calculation, this calculation it is found to be, this is 312 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Weber is the value of the phi t that is total flux. Now here by knowing the total flux in this particular case which is the phi t, we can calculate the remaining things. Now here, by knowing the phi t, now what we are interested, this phi is known for this magnetic path as well as for the air gap, we are interested in the s. Now we will calculate the s first, otherwise I will use the concept of the uh, electrical circuit, something like this. If we have the electrical circuit, something like this, here is one resistance and here is the other resistance in this particular case. And if we are interested to calculate, uh, if we are, we have the complicated, if we are interested to calculate the voltage across this element and voltage across this element, that is V1 and V2. And for time being, I will assume here, this is part of the complicated network, current in this element is different and current in this element is different. That's why we will calculate V1 separately, we will calculate V2 separately. Similarly, in this case, the current in this air gap is a different, uh, sorry, flux for the air gap is different and flux for this total thing is different. That's why we will calculate both values differently. That's why here is total MMF. Uh, in this particular case, uh, we will calculate its uh, uh, S differently and uh, then we are able to calculate its values. Now here, now here for the calculation of its total flux, uh, that is total reluctance of the magnetic path which is S, S is given by the formula, I, I read somewhere here, S is equal to L divided by A into mu naught into mu R, means here we need the area and for the calculation of area this diameter is given, means how to calculate area, I will use that calculation somewhere here. This A is equal to, general formula is pi R square, but here given thing is diameter that is diameter divided by 2 means it is 2.2 into 10 raised power of minus 2 this divided by 2 it's a square 
and if you are working on this calculation this area it is uh, uh, for this particular case it is uh, found to be which is 380.13 into 10 raised power of minus 6 meter square is the area. Now here by knowing the area we can find out its total MMF. Now here in this case the total MMF is equal to that is MMF for this steel path that is S plus MMF for the air gap. MMF for the air gap. What is the general formula for the MMF? Second formula that is phi into S. In this case the phi for the steel path is the phi t into S for the steel plus phi u into s for the air gap. If I am substituting the value of the phi t, we have calculated the phi t which is that is a phi t which is 312 into 10 raised power of minus 6 into s is the reluctance of the magnetic path which is ls divided by a into mu naught into mu r plus this phi u already we know its value which is the given flux that is 0.26 means it is 0.26 into 10 raised power of minus 3 into LA that is length of the air gap this total divided by A into mu naught because relative permeability for the air is equal to 1. Now here if I am substituting the values here this is 312 into 10 raised power of minus 6 length of the uh, steel section is uh, that is uh, 100 means it is it is 100 into 10 raised power of minus 2 divided by area which we have calculated it is uh, 380.13 into 10 raised power of minus 6 into mu naught is that is 4 pi into 10 raised power of minus 7 into mu r that is relative permeability is it is given as it is 1000. This is the first value then plus this second value, this second calculation, plus it is, if I am going down, plus this value, which is 0.26 into 10 raised power of it is minus 3 into length of the air gap is 2 millimeter, that is 2 into 10 raised power of minus 3 divided by A is a cross section area, which is 380.13 into 10 raised power of minus 6 into mu naught, which is 4 pi into 10 raised power of it is minus 7. If I am working on both calculation, this calculation is related to this part and here this calculation is related to this part. Here if I am doing both calculations, then the first calculation it is found to be 653.016 and second calculation it is 1.088 into 10 this per of it is a plus 3 and here if I am working on the MMF, this MMF is found to be that is 1741.376 that is ampere turns is the value of the MMF. And if we know the MMF then we can use this second formula. Second formula for the calculation of MMF, I will use this portion here. Second formula for MMF is equal to, this is MMF is equal to N into I. We are interested in the I, that's why here it is 1741.376 divided by the number of turns which are 800 and if we are doing this calculation its value of the current it is found to be 2.176 amperes is the value of the current which is flowing here. The value of the current which is flowing here it is this value. Now here Many times the calculation in case of the magnetic circuit are not exact because so many, so many times here the values we are using it is in, in, in terms of the 10 raised power of 6. That's why always the calculations are approximate. That's why we have to be very careful about the calculation. Sometimes there may be the difference of some values. That's all for this particular video. Thank you for watching this particular video. I will discuss some similar uh, uh, problems of the magnetic circuit having the more difficulty level maybe in the next video. Thank you.